Welcome, dear Scorpio. Today's destiny reading is about you, your path and your potential. This spread is not connected to a particular time span. The fact that you are drawn to watch this video confirms that you need to hear this message right now. So let me shuffle the card and then let's get right into it. So the first card describes you or the current situation in your life and it's journey by moonlight. Believe in magic. Imagine you're on a moonlit path. The world is bathed in a silvery light. It's casting a dreamlike glow on everything around you. The shadows create an atmosphere of mystery and enchantment. This is the essence of the Journey in Moonlight card. It's a call to embrace the unknown and find beauty in the shadowy realms of life. As a Scorpio, you are no stranger to the depth and mysteries of the human psyche. You have a natural ability to navigate through the darker side of feelings and events that others may hesitate to con confront. This card mirrors your nature and your current situation. It invites you to continue this exploration with courage and with curiosity. Consider an explorer who navigates through a dark forest. They don't have a clear map, they have no compass, all that's guiding them is the moonlight. The lack of visibility might be scary, but it also adds a sense of adventure and discovery. Similarly, in your current situation, you might be facing uncertainties or challenges. Your instinct might be to delve deep and uncover the truth, but don't forget to appreciate the beauty of the unknown. Believe in magic, believe that things can happen. If you're going through a period of transformation or change, instead of rushing to find answers or solutions, try to embrace the process. Allow yourself to feel and to question, explore. This journey in the moonlight can lead to profound self-discovery and growth. It's also telling you that you can be intense and passionate, which can sometimes lead to obsession or fixation. It can lead to jealousy, feeling the need to control, and it can make you feel isolated. You might end up running into a deep, dark cave and forget to bring the light. Don't get lost in the shadows. Your wish to uncover the truth can start to overshadow the beauty of your journey. Imagine a moth that's attracted to light. It's fluttering around, attracted by the glow, but if it gets too close to a flame, it risks getting burned. And although it's important to delve deep and explore sometimes, don't forget that it's equally important to keep a balance and not lose yourself in the process. This card is a reflection of your nature and your current situation. It's a call to embrace the unknown to find beauty in the shadows and to navigate your path with courage and with curiosity. Believe in magic. So Scorpio, step onto your moonlit path, let the silvery glow guide you and embark on this enchanting journey towards self-discovery and growth. So the second card is passion and pleasure. Savor your life is the message on this card. This card describes your path. Imagine you're in a, in a marketplace which is hustling and bustling. The air filled with rich aroma of exotic spices. There are vibrant colors of hand-woven fabrics that catch your eye. There's rhythmic music playing in the background which stirs your soul. This is basically what passion and pleasure wants to convey. It's a call to enjoy, to really savor life's delights and follow your passions. You are known for your intensity and depth. You have the ability to delve deep into the mysteries of life. But this card is encouraging you to also relish in the joys on the surface, to dance in the sunshine and to celebrate life. If you think of a gourmet chef, they don't just cook to, to feed, they cook to delight to arouse the senses, to create an experience. It's a culinary journey. 
And similarly, similarly, your journey is not just about deep introspection and transformation. It's about enjoying life, savoring the flavors of life, indulging in your passions and finding pleasure in the present moment. So add some spice to your life. You might be on a path of self-discovery or personal growth, growth at the moment. Your instinct might be to focus on the deep transformative aspects of this journey, but don't forget to include joy and passion. Don't be too serious or you miss out on all the happy moments that life has to offer. If you're working towards a goal or overcoming a challenge, try to find elements that ignite this passion in you. If you're building a business, infuse it with what you love. If you're healing from a past hurt, do something that brings you joy. This approach can make your journey a lot more, more fulfilling and it can fuel your motivation to bring out the best in yourself. Scorpios tend to be all or nothing, which can sometimes lead to obsession or burnout. You need to avoid getting your teeth, into, uh, teeth too deep into something Instead, you need to try and keep a healthy balance. Imagine a marathon runner who's focused on the track he's running on. They love running and they move with focus and intensity. But if they don't tie their laces when they're undone, they might stumble and fall. Also, if they try and run a marathon every week, they're going to exhaust themselves. So the same can be said about you. It's important to follow your passion, but it's equally important to rest and rejuvenate yourself. You need to recharge your batteries. This card is, is a call for you to enjoy the delights that life has to offer and to follow your passion. Do what you really like. It's a reminder that your journey is not just about delving deep, but also about dancing in the sunshine, dancing in the rain, savoring the flavors of life, so, Scorpio, light the fire of your passions, indulge in life's pleasures, and dance your way towards your destiny. So let's have a look at the third card, which describes your potential. It's distant thunder, clear the air. Imagine you're standing on a vast plain, the sky heavy with storm clouds, and you can hear a distant rumble of thunder echoing across the landscape. This scene encapsulates what the distant car the thunder card means. It's asking you to embrace that transformative power of storm and recognize the potential for growth. When a storm is approaching, the air becomes heavy and thick. But as the storm is passing, the air seems to be clearer. It seems to be clean and light and fresh again. You are no stranger to, to transformation, Scorpio. You have a natural ability to weather life storms, to rise from the ashes stronger than you were before. This card mirrors your potential and it encourages you to harness the power of change to achieve your highest potential. Think of a seed that's lying dormant in the soil. A thunderstorm, destructive as it may seem, will nourish the seed with its rain. The seed is going to sprout and grow into a beautiful plant. And the same happens in your life. Challenges and upheavals can be catalysts for growth and for transformation. If you're facing a big challenge or a difficult transition, you might feel overwhelmed or fearful, but you have the resilience and the determination to overcome these hurdles. View these challenges as an opportunity for you to grow. Your weaker point is that you can have a tendency to resist this change. You can be stubborn because you can be very intense and passionate about whatever you, you want to do or doing. When you feel like that, it's often your way or the highway. This card is telling you not to build your own roadblock by putting on blinders because you'll only hurt yourself in the long run. So don't resist the storm. If a tree stands rigid in the face of a thunderstorm, there's a, there's a bigger risk that it's going to be uprooted. But if it bends and it's flexible, swaying with the wind, it can withstand the storm. So stay flexible and open to change, even if it seems daunting. This card confirms your strength and your potential to weather life storms and emerge stronger. It's a call to embrace this change to harness this transformative power of challenges 
and to rise to your highest potential. So Scorpio, stand firm in the fa face of the distant thunder. Let the storm shape you and prepare to emerge as a stronger, more resilient version of yourself. Here is an affirmation for you to use. I am resilient and strong. I embrace life's challenges and transform them into growth. I navigate emotions and experiences and find joy and passion in my journey because I deserve the best. If this resonates with you, dear Scorpios, copy and paste the affirmation from the description into the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon for more Celestial Wisdom.